Yeshayahu, Isaiah 51. Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek Yahuwah. Look unto the rock whence ye are hewn, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are dug. Look unto El Avraham your father, and unto El Sarah that bore you. For I called him alone, and blessed him, and increased him. For Yahuwah shall comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places, and he will make her wilderness like Eden, and her desert like the garden of Yahuwah. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation, for a Torah shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people. My righteousness is near, my Yeshua is gone forth, and my arms shall judge the people. The isles shall wait upon me, and on my arm shall they trust. Lift up your eyes to the heavens, and look upon the earth beneath, where the heavens shall vanish away like smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my Yeshua shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my Torah. Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither be ye afraid of their revilings. For the moth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them like wool. But my righteousness, rather righteousness, shall be forever, and my Yeshua from generation to generation. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of Yahuwah, awake, as in the ancient days, in the generations of old. Are you not in that has cut Rahav? and wounded the dragon? Rather, are you not it that has cut Rachav and wounded the dragon? Are you not it which has dried the sea, the waters of the great deep, that has made the depths of the sea a way for the ransomed to pass over? Therefore, the redeemed of Yahuwah shall return and come with singing unto Zion, rather Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. I, even I, am he that comforts you. Who are you that you should be afraid of a man that shall die, and of the son of Adam which shall be made as grass. And forget Yahuwah, your maker, that has stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth, and have feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor, as if he were ready to destroy. And where is the fury of the oppressor? The captive exile hastens that he may be loosed, and that he should not die in the pit, nor that his bread should fail. But I am Yahuwah Eloheka, that divided the sea, whose waves roared. Yahuwah Sevaoth is his name. And I have put my words in your mouth, and I have covered you in the shadow of my hand, that I may plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth, and say unto Sion, You are my people. Awake, awake.
Stand up, O Yerushalayim, which have drunk at the hand of Yahuwah, eth the cup of his fury. You have drunken eth the dregs of the cup of trembling, and wrung them out. There is none to guide her among all the sons whom she has brought forth. Neither is there any that takes her by the hand of all the sons that she has brought up. These two things are come unto you. Who shall be sorry for you? Desolation and destruction and the famine and the sword. By whom shall I comfort you? Your sons have fainted. They lie at the head of the streets, rather at the head of all the streets, as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of Yahuwah, the rebuke of your Elohim. Therefore hear now this, you afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Thus says your Adonai Yahuwah and your Elohim, that pleads the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of your hand eth the cup of trembling, even eth the dregs of the cup of my fury. You shall no more drink it again, but I will put it into the hand of them that afflict you, which have said to your soul, Bow down, that we may go over. And you have laid your body as the ground, and as the street to them that went over.